Cuba is riding the storm of yet another revolution. The military junta, inflaming the excitable populace, ride down with President Gomez, whom they have now overthrown. The soldiers won public support for their sugar tax, nine cents per hundred pounds produced, proposed to finance new schools for all Cuban children to be under military control. President Gomez and Colonel Batista, right, led opposing sides in this bitter quarrel. When elected, Democratic Gomez said, by election, mean the peace in Cuba. I will do my best as president of the Republic of Cuba to increase the economical, political, and social condition of the Cuban people. But Colonel Batista and the army have won the fight, carrying the sugar tax through Parliament. Gomez, still insisting that the proposed schools would militarize the people, is deposed. Vice President Laredo Bruce succeeds. Victory has gone to the leader of the 1934 revolution, the former Corporal Batista.